Oh yeah. So today what we're going to do is, if you'd like to come over that I'm going to show you. Okay. The P6. The P6 lens covers. These lads here. This one here and this one here. If you see at the top of them at the point, because it's plastic and they're old, they get brittle and they have a tendency to snap. This one here, just as an example of how easy they can break. I was actually, um, I had washed the car and I was waxing it. And I ran the cloth down here and I've actually clipped that, the cloth, not my hand, just the cloth, and snapped that clean off, which was that one there. So, you know, I think really it's because they're made of plastic and they're probably 40 years old at this stage. The, the, the plastic becomes quite brittle and it snaps them. Anyway, so I replaced that one there, which I happened to pick up at a, an auto jumble last year for about four euros. It was brilliant, I was delighted and I just popped a new one on. Anyway, a couple of months ago, I come to this side here. This one was perfect until I was parking the car here in the garden one evening and uh, I went to roll it down the drive. And as I went to roll it down the drive, but not the engine was turned off, I kicked the car out of gear, thinking I had my foot on the brake. My foot was actually on the clutch. One leg in, one leg out. Of course, as the car started to roll down the hill, I pressed down the clutch and the car just rolled further. Luckily, it rolled into the green wheelie bin, which was just here beside the house. So there was no damage to the car. However, boink, we lost another one. Snapped off. Anyway, look, I managed to get one from the uh, the English Rover C, the, the English Rover P6 Club online. Alexandria sent me over one. Very good of her, along with a, another with a battery box cover as well. So I'm delighted with that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put it on. It's fairly straightforward and simple. It's not. There's no complicated about you know changing the lens cover or, or a small bit of maintenance. It's all very simple. The only reason I recorded and put it up on the internet, really, on YouTube, is simply because there are no repair videos really on YouTube for the Rover. There's nothing. So I suppose I'm just entertaining myself because, one, I'm bored. <laughs> Two, why not? Anyway, right, Adam. So, it's very simple, really. All you need is your Phillips head screwdriver. Holding the lens on in place, you've got one, two, three, and underneath it there'll be a small little gasket as well. And don't forget, of course, you've got your little new lens cover which is going on. So we'll just pop the three screws out. Let's see, fiddly little crackers. It's freezing today. By the way, just for one or two years to keep asking on YouTube or seem to think I'd be under the impression. Uh, let me help you out there lads. I'm not English, I'm actually Irish. This is what you call a Dublin accent. It's coming out of my mouth. I'm from Dublin, North County Dublin. In Ireland, not English. Not that there's anything wrong with being English. But uh, some of you seem to think I'm either English or Scottish. I'm not, I'm actually Irish from Dublin. Fancy that. So, three screws out, pop your lens cover off, take the snow off, I'm supposed to take this one out as well because they actually slide apart, I'll show you now, sidetracking myself by yapping, yeah, so, you have one screw there, one screw there, one screw there, and then one down the bottom, okay, pop it out, forward you come, and as you can see, I'll show you here, the two of them, See that they kind of slot in one over the other like that? That's what I want. Anyway, blah blah blah. Give it a rope. It's broken one away. You can see the rubber grommet in there. On the one over there, that's mine is all dissolved if you like and broken. So when I take it apart, it all falls out in pieces. I have to stick it back in. We're gonna slot the new piece on. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Magic. And back on it goes. That's it. Sure look. Couldn't be more simple. The thing about these is, what I love about these is, I don't know, when I'm driving at night and when I'm sitting in the driver's seat, and as I look out over the bonnet, I love the way the little tips are, they light up, and in the dark you can see them, you know, left and right, I love that. Uh, anyway, so that's it, pop your screws back in. If sometimes somebody was telling me, well, do you know, I've done it myself. You know when you get a, a pair of shoes in a box, and you put in these little packets of C, 
silica, is it? It's, it's to keep them dry. Um, some fellas get those little packets of silica and they put them in inside their lenses, they tuck them down the corner or just the little balls out. And just I've seen people do that to keep the moisture out, whether it works or not, I don't know. But um, I think actually it was done on this car as well at the back. If you know what I'm talking about, the little packets from the shoe boxes, just take the little silica balls out of them and put them in and it will absorb the moisture. Might work, might work, I don't know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, jibber jabber jibber jabber, that's it. Four screws back in, lens back in place. And I've got my tips back again. A nice tip there. Nice tip on the other side again. <laughs> there we go. Two broken lenses. So let that be a lesson. I'll be more careful next time because I think it's not rocket science. The further we go on down the road, the rarer these lads are going to get. You know, I was lucky to snare this one from uh, Alexandria. Cheers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to naff off up the back of the car and stick the new battery box on over the new battery. All right. See you, lads. Look. <laughs>